Hey there, it's Elena Bear, and today I want to tell you guys about my second tattoo. Yes, I got my second tattoo almost two weeks ago now, and I've been kind of like shy and nervous to show it, and I mean, it's on my leg, and it's been pretty cold out, so I've just been wearing pants and stuff lately, like so a lot of people haven't seen it yet. But I'm so excited about it, and it's, it's really meaningful to me. Um, in a couple different ways and so I wanted to make a video explaining it um, so that if you do see it you know what it symbolizes and all that. So this is actually a tattoo that I have wanted. This is gonna sound crazy. I have wanted this tattoo for like 10 years or something. Yeah, about 10 years. But I knew it would be kind of big and super painful and so I kept like procrastinating and putting it off because I was afraid of how much it would hurt. First of all, I don't have a high pain tolerance. Like, I'm pretty wimpy. So, like, this bear tattoo, you know, that that definitely hurt. And I was like, well, any other tattoo I get is going to be so much more painful because this is just an outline and it's just, it was really quick. This took, like, 10 minutes tops. So I knew that the butterfly one... There's a cat here in case you're wondering what I'm doing with my hands. <laughs> Say hi, P.I.P. No joke, I did not wince or cringe or like, I was like waiting like, oh, it's gonna get worse, it's gonna get worse. And it never got worse and then she's like, I'm done. <laughs> so it was just, it was awesome. I, I feel silly for waiting so long, but anyway, it's so awesome and let me tell you why I decided to get a butterfly tattooed on my body forever. This is gonna sound weird to a lot of people, that's fine. But if you don't know, I'm a Christian, I believe in God. So about 10 years ago, I was like maybe, I don't know, like 16 or something. And um, I was having a lot of trouble with eating disorders and also self-harm. I was cutting and I was um, terribly bulimic and just really, really sick in the head. <laughs> it was a really hard time for me. And one time, um, we went to church, I mean, I went to church every week with my mom, and one of those times I went forward at the end of the church service because they ask, like, if you want to get prayer for anything, you know, you can come up at the end of the service. So I did that because I was just like such a mess at the time. The lady who was praying for me, she said that, you know, God was comforting me and he was with me and just how much he loved me, how much I meant to him. It was like, he was just trying to tell me how valuable I was to him and how my life was worth so much to him. It was these things that I really, really needed to hear. Then she said, God told the lady who was praying that anytime I see a butterfly out in the world, that's going to be kind of a symbol to me that God loves me, he's with me, I'm not alone no matter you know what's going on in my life. and how sad I'm feeling, how depressed or anxious or anything. When I see a butterfly, that's a symbol that like, I'm here for you, you know, don't be afraid, don't feel discouraged and, you know, stay strong. And that, I mean, it was kind of odd because I've never heard like a prayer like that or anything, but I was like, that's cool. I mean, I like butterflies, butterflies are awesome, whatever. <laughs> but this has been so cool, you guys. Since that moment, Every time I'm like just having an awful day or starting to feel really down about myself or you know things are just going awry in my brain, I'm not even kidding. Every time I will see a butterfly outside. I've seen them in such strange times and strange places. After all of these times of this happening, it is so obvious that it's not a coincidence. It's not just, oh, it, there just so happens to be butterflies around here because it's springtime and there's flowers. Like, it is clearly, oh, now you're stuck on my shirt. It is clearly a sign from God every time um, I see that. And then it just gives me just this amazing sense of peace. I mean, I, <laughs> it sounds so stupid, but I seriously get emotional every time I see a butterfly and I'm like, Oh, yes, thank you God, like you're here with me and I just, I feel his presence all of a sudden when I see that. It is just such an overwhelming feeling. It's not just like, oh, that's kind of nice. It's like this incredible feeling of love and it just washes over me and calms me down 
regardless of what problems I'm going through at the time. So anyway, that has been this strange and incredible experience over the last 10 years since I got that prayer from that lady. So I've always seen the symbol of the butterfly as God being with me and God loving me. Uh, so obviously, I, and I've always loved tattoos, I've always wanted tattoos. So that was like, I'm definitely gonna get a tattoo of a butterfly because in winter when it's like snowing and stuff, obviously there's no butterflies. So I thought it'd be cool to kind of have that on my body as a symbol of like, God is with me all the time. You know, and this is like, I can see this at any moment, even if I'm not outside or, you know, it's winter and I can be reminded of his love and, you know, how much he cares about me and stuff like that. You know, I totally understand if you think it's weird or don't agree with it, but I prayed about it a lot before I got it and I, cause I didn't want to do something that I felt God didn't approve of, but I didn't get that sense and I felt like, you know, he was okay with it and everything. So, and then, um, as you can see in the tattoo, there is a semicolon as the butterfly's body. And that's a much newer tattoo trend, the semicolon tattoos. And if you don't know what that means, um, semicolon tattoos basically represent surviving mental health issues and, and being someone who has battled mental health problems and, you know, who is kind of a survivor, like, you know, a writer uses a semicolon when they could have used a period, but they chose to continue that same sentence. Um, so it's like, you could have chosen to end your life, end your sentence, but you chose to continue. So you, you put a semicolon there and it's like, okay, you know, that was a rough time in my life, but I overcame it and I'm moving on to the rest of the sentence, the rest of the same life. I just thought that was a really beautiful and extremely meaningful um, tattoo and I know it's trendy so you know I don't know if it's always a good idea to get like trendy tattoos permanently on your body but it, it means enough to me that you know I'm gonna still believe in it and appreciate that symbol 40 years from now or whatever okay I just had to change my uh, camera battery sorry about that my battery almost always dies in the middle of every single video because I don't know when to shut up or <laughs> be concise with what I'm trying to say which is probably why I have a 520 page novel that is still not finished anyway um, butterfly tattoo equals God and semicolon tattoo equals victory over mental health problems so, you know, just so many things in the last few years have gotten so much better um, and my way of thinking about life and the world has gotten so much healthier. So I just, I, I want to take this opportunity to celebrate, you know, a new chapter in my life that is going to be healthier and happier and embracing. Um, I'm sorry, I've got cat hair on my face and it's so itchy. <laughs> I just want to embrace um, God's love for me and all of that. That is what my my new tattoo symbolizes. And the placement of it, I just thought it would be cool. You know, a lot of people get um, ankle tattoos on the side of their ankle. Um, and I just thought this was really interesting, like on the back of my leg, because from the front, you can't see it at all. And then from the side, you see just one wing, which I think looks pretty awesome. And then from the back, you see all of it. So it just is a little unique. I haven't seen that before, and I thought it would be you know, something different. So I, I really love it and uh, I hope you guys like it too. And if you don't, then that's fine too. <laughs> I think I paid $80 for it, you know, due to the size and it being just black ink, that was, you know, the price. So I put in $80 plus tip. And so I thought that was a really good price. I mean, especially for this area where everything is 10 times more expensive, literally, as it is other parts of the country. So I, I expected it to be way more, to be honest. So yeah, I'm really happy with, with that whole experience. And um, if you have any questions about getting tattoos, you can ask me. I mean, I only have two of them, but I went to two different places. So I have a little bit of experience now. <laughs> so if you have questions about tattoos, you can ask me. If you have questions about other things, you can ask me. I think that's all I have to say about that for now. <laughs> uh, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.